Hey guys, the Ruby Ambassador going on here. Um, this is the second issue of Helpful Tips with Tori and Ryan. Do you want to say anything the same with the last one? I'm wearing the same shirt and hat. I've decided that I'm going to wear my green track, track jacket and my Patriots hat for all the Helpful Tips with Tori and Ryan and wear that black Ferrari track jacket for all the root beer reviews. So yeah. Um first of all, you guys are probably wondering why I'm putting so many videos on today and yesterday. Well first of all because I got rid of all my videos that aren't mine. So I have to make up for that. And I'm not just trying to shut have shit in there, so I wanna make some good videos. Alright, today's episode is about how to stay out of trouble. And this is directed toward all you kids. Alright, say you got in trouble for teasing a kid. Um, when the teacher comes over and says, Why'd you insult this kid? I said, Or maybe they just say, Why? That's the better one. When they start off saying, Why? You go, What? Why? What? You just keep going through what? And act more and more clueless. And when they say that, um, you know, then they're going to be a little suspicious if the other person is lying or they didn't hear what you said right. And then go with the thing that they misheard you. And that you were talking to your friend and they misheard you. So yeah, that really works. Trust me, man. Um, then, just keep with the same story. Don't ever change it. Keep with the same story. Because if you keep with the same story, then it looks like you're telling the truth. But if you keep changing it, then it looks like you're lying because you can't keep your story straight because you're so desperately trying to get out of trouble. A lot of people have trouble with that, but it's a quiet thing. You'll get the hang of it later. And if all else fails, well, this works for girls mostly. Um, it doesn't work for guys. I've tried it. Cry and like beg that say, why doesn't anybody believe me? Because one time, me and this friend that's a girl were in trouble for the same thing. We are insulting this person. And they started to believe us, but they were, like, still kind of skeptical. And she started crying. And she was like, I didn't do it, I swear. And, and then she was like, oh, it's okay. The teacher was like, it's okay, it's okay. I believe you. And he sent her on her way. So I nice try that hit. And he's all like, throw on your pussy. What the fuck are you crying about? I was like, but I didn't do it. And he was like, go fucking get outside. You had attention. He was like. Fuck. So yeah, it doesn't really work for guys. I don't know what it is. Girls crying, people get really sympathetic about. Guys, not so much. They just think you're a pussy. So, bottom line, these are the three things you want to have. Keep your story, act clueless, and if your girl, cry. If no, nothing else works. And, and actually, if all else fails, for guys, actually, this will work. Tell the truth eventually, because if you keep it lying, they find out that you were lying. This just happened to me recently, because I made a lie about someone, because I insulted someone. And all the teachers believed me, like four teachers believed me. And a few days later, she goes and tells the principal again, because she's still complaining about it. And the principal finds out, and I was like, fuck. So, yeah. But I didn't have time to fess up. And I got in trouble for that. But eventually, if you think you're going to get in trouble, fess up eventually, because then you won't get as much trouble. I know, I've gotten in a lot of trouble. Yeah, so thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to my channel, find out when the new Helpful Tips with Dorian Ryan will come out, and new group reviews. Thanks, I'll see you guys.